what is going on everybody it's infinity vortex here and so a few weeks ago i finally decided to upgrade to the new windows 10 operating system and i was going to get it a lot earlier because i thought that after it was released i would be able to get it whenever if i clicked on the little icon at the bottom but little did i know that microsoft actually had to dish out this thing in waves so i sat there for a week waiting but i finally just said screw it and after doing some research i found out that i can just download it manually without waiting so i did that Anyway, so far I'm really enjoying Windows 10, and today I'm going to give you my review on this new edition of Windows, and share my final thoughts about it. Let's start with the interface. While the start menu brings back the familiar layout of Windows 7, it still has those Windows 8 style boxes, but thankfully they don't cover up the entire screen. At the bottom here is the search box. You can turn it into the Cortana box when you enable it. But I was surprised to see that the only difference between having a regular search box and Cortana is that Cortana is basically like attaching a spy camera to your computer that can hear you and links directly to Microsoft so they can gather your personal information. Silly Microsoft, you're not getting any information out of me, for I have disabled Cortana. Try again, Microsoft. Now seriously, I can't see me using Cortana because Google exists, but it seems like a good competitor to things like Apple's Siri and Google's voice recognition, and it can get the job done when it comes down to quick pieces of information. Just try not to give her too much information, she seems very suspicious. But the regular search bar is good for making a fast search without even needing to open your browser, saving you a whopping one click. My only complaint is that it defaults to Bing, and as of now, you can't change this, so that's a downside for anyone who doesn't use Bing, aka me. The interface style is even flatter and simpler than before. I don't know why, I guess it just looks more modern. I think it represents how everything is getting flatter and simpler in the technology world. I do like the Edge browser mainly for its speed, but since it doesn't have extension support just yet, I'm going to stick to Chrome for now so I can use Adblock, but Microsoft did say that later on people will be able to create extensions for the Edge browser, so hopefully the makers of Adblock will release it for Edge once that happens. And I do plan on switching to Edge permanently once this happens, because for some gay-ass reason Chrome removed Unity web player support so that you can't play any Unity browser games at all. While Bing isn't my taste, Microsoft has at least finally made a great browser that has the potential to surpass others. Moving on to programs, I was happy to see that when I went to get Windows 10, it actually clearly stated that no programs were incompatible, meaning that they should all continue to work properly, and I went ahead and tested them all out, and they do all work just as they did before. I didn't even have to turn on compatibility mode for anything, although it's good that Windows still has it just in case. I guess Microsoft really meant it when they said that everything working on Windows 7 or 8 would work fine on Windows 10. Now the snap feature returns from previous versions of Windows, but it's gotten an improvement. Instead of just being able to snap two windows on each half of the screen, you can now snap four programs on each quadrant of the screen. I can't see myself using all four sections at once, but it's a great addition for multitaskers. On top of the quad snap feature, there's the even wilder multiple desktops feature, so if you have a bunch of programs open, you won't have to pile windows on top of each other and dig through them anymore. Instead, you can actually have different programs on different desktops. For example, business programs open on one, while gaming programs are open on another. I think I'm going to use this feature a lot more than the quad snap feature, in that I can edit videos on one desktop and stream my Xbox on another one. It's just making things easier for people who don't have dual monitors. Speaking of streaming your Xbox, that's another awesome new addition to Windows if you're an Xbox player. You can actually wirelessly stream your Xbox One to your computer and play on it. Now this doesn't make your computer an Xbox One itself, it just uses your computer as a wireless monitor so to say, so you're still using your Xbox One console itself, and of course you have to stay within range of the Xbox. Still, it allows me to go from watching YouTube to editing videos to playing Xbox with my friends without even going into a different room. However, I was shocked and kind of disappointed to see that there are some flaws. Because the Xbox window doesn't count as a game, you can't record it using OBS. Not even capturing it as a regular window works. You have to record the entire screen for it to show, which is a problem because when it's in full screen, it freezes up for some reason but immediately when I put it into windowed mode, it's perfect again. On top of that, the quality is slightly lowered even on the highest setting, and there's a slight controller delay of maybe 10 milliseconds. 
but those two things aren't too much of a problem. What I'm really concerned about is the speed. If you don't have extremely fast internet, you won't be getting very good results, and it will often become choppy. I feel like the bandwidth usage is quite low for my router speed, and I feel like it's not really using as much bandwidth as it can, even when I'm on a wired network. I know this is still pretty new, but I hope they're working on making it better because I think this is a really neat feature, but its flaws are making me want to keep using my TV for now. In fact, I'm even thinking on getting another monitor for my laptop so I could possibly just plug my Xbox One into the monitor and record that. I use wired internet for this anyway, so it honestly wouldn't affect my setup too much. However, it would still be cool to use my laptop as a wireless monitor, but it all depends on if Microsoft is willing to update the streaming feature or not. So all in all, I think Windows 10 is a fantastic step forward from the various flaws of Windows 8 while still keeping the nice looking new flat style desktop that retains the classic Windows 7 layout we all know and love. There's a tiny amount of flaws within the Xbox streaming feature, but I think they're working on trying to make it better for everyone. And besides, this operating system is still only about a month old. I think Microsoft has this one in the bag, and I don't think we're ever going to see a Windows 10.1. I'm really looking forward to using this operating system for the next few years, and along with this new computer that I got a few months ago, it really feels like a fresh start for me. I guess you could say Microsoft scored a perfect 10 with this one. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and what are your thoughts on Windows 10? Leave a comment down below letting me know. You can click the link on the top left corner to watch my video that I recorded before I got Windows 10, in which I talk about my initial thoughts on the operating system, why I didn't get it immediately, and how I thought things were going to go down. You can also click the other links on the screen to go see my Let's Plays of popular games if you haven't already. And as always guys, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to stay updated on my channel for more videos in the future. So until the next one everybody. That is all for now.